this question, a vertical cylinder closed from both the ends is equipped with an easily moving piston, dividing the volume into two parts, each containing one mole of air. In equilibrium at T0 is equal to 300 Kelvin, the volume of the upper part is eta is equal to 4 times greater than that of the lower part. At what temperature will the ratio of these volumes be equal to eta dash is equal to 3? So in the initial given situation, we are given that this is closed at both the ends and this is the piston. The volume of upper part is greater than the lower part by this factor eta. Suppose total volume is, let's say this total volume is V0. So volume of the upper part, I am assuming V1 and the lower part is V2. So V1 in this situation will be V0 multiplied by the ratio is eta ratio 1. So it will be for upper part, this will be eta divided by eta plus 1. This is the factor and this V2 will be V0 1 divided by eta plus 1. So these are the volumes of the two parts. Initially, the temperature in both the parts is T0, where T0 is 300 Kelvin. Number of moles in both the parts is equal to 1. So since number of moles are equal, temperature equal, volumes are different, so pressure will also be different. And the reason for different pressure will be the mass of this piston. Suppose mass of the piston is equal to M. Suppose P1 is the pressure in the upper chamber and P2 is the pressure in the lower chamber. So from initial equilibrium we can see that on this piston I am assuming there is no friction and it is written that it is easily moving. That means there should be no friction. So on this piston the force is P1 into A, P2 into A and Mg. For equilibrium we can see that these two forces are balanced by this P2 into A. So P2 will be P1 plus Mg by A. So pressure in the lower part is higher. Pressure in the lower part is higher and volume is lower. So volume less and pressure high in the lower part. If we change the temperature, then the ratio will change to some eta des. And if we change the temperature, then also in the final equilibrium position, suppose the pressures are now P1 des and P2 des in final equilibrium position. It is P1 des A, it will be P2 des A and weight will remain the same. If we calculate, then it will be P2 des is equal to P1 des plus. We can see that the pressure difference initially is P2 minus P1 is equal to Mg by A. And the pressure difference finally is also P2 des minus P1 des is equal to Mg by A. So from these two, we can see that pressure difference in both the equilibriums are equal. P2 minus P1 is equal to P2 des minus P1 des. So pressure difference is the same in both these situations. The value of individual pressures are different. The value of individual volumes are different. Now the individual volumes will be V1 des and this V1 des is for eta we can write eta des and the volume now is V0 1 divided by eta des plus 1 and I am assuming the temperature equal to T the final temperature in both the chambers is equal to T for equilibrium equation I am finally using for the further calculation is the pressure difference are seen in both the situation. So finally P2 dash minus P1 dash this is equal to P2 minus P1. For P we can write nRT by V and n is equal to 1. So there is no term of n in this expression. So it is RT by V. RT by V2 dash minus RT by V1 des RT0 by V2 minus 
आर टी नॉट बाई वी वन दिस आर इज ऑल्सो कैंसल्ड ऑन बोथ द साइड्स एंड टेक टी एज कॉमन दिस वन बाई वी टू डेस सो वन बाई वी टू डेस विल बी दिस ईटा डेस प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाई वी नोट माइनस वन बाई वी वन डेस एंड फॉर वी वन डेस वी कैन पुट ईटा डेस प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाई वी नोट ईटा डेस एंड दिस शुड बी इक्वल टू टेक टी नोट एज कॉमन एंड द सिमिलर टर्म्स आर ऑल्सो हियर सो वन बाय वी टू वन बाय वी टू इज दिस ईटा प्लस वन डिवाइड बाय वी नोट एंड वन बाय वी वन एंड दिस वन बाय वी वन इज ईटा प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाय वी नोट ईटा v not will get cancelled out from both the sides and we can find the final value of t in the equilibrium so we can see that it is it is eta des plus 1 minus 1 so it will become t not multiplied with similar terms will also be here one will be cancelled and it will be eta minus 1 by eta and it will be eta des minus 1 by eta des so this is the final answer to this problem if i put the value of t not as 300 and the value of eta and eta des this is approximately equal to 420 kelvin